Hello, welcome guys to yet another video tutorial. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to download and install XM. So I've already sent the, the link in the group, but then uh, if you haven't downloaded it, so you can just follow this video and then download it. So just go to your browser and type download excel like this and then click on this uh apache friends .org link and then download uh, the one that you want so you can just take the latest one and then click here to download it so now it's downloading but then I'm gonna cancel this one because I already have it downloaded on my laptop. So after it has finished downloading on your laptop, uh, go to your downloads folder or where it is downloaded, and then click on the installer that just uh, downloaded to install it. So after double clicking it, uh, the window is going to pop up, so let's just wait for it. So yeah, if you get uh, this uh, user control, user account control settings um, to uh, deactivate it, you can just type user you can just say user uac like this then click on here so i don't know why mine is uh, giving me that window because of i it's here so i'm sure you, you you're gonna probably find yours here so if it's here and then it doesn't want to install you can just bring it down and then install and then after installing it uh, just return it to where it was before right so now let's click next so what we gonna need here is just the first two apache in my sql so you can uncheck this drive right but then if uh, you don't uncheck them also it's okay you can just install them so also we're gonna have PHP. So this pair, uh, we also don't need it. You can uncheck it. So we'll be using PHP. And then uh, programming language. Here we're gonna need a uh, PHP my admin. So I don't know what this is. Verbalizer. Or oh, I think this one is for checking which apps are uh, done in each language. And then fake send me. I don't know what this you can check it or I check it, it's up to you. And then click next. And then you're gonna find uh, this folder. So and then click next. So because of I already have uh, XM installed on my computer, that's why I'm getting this message. But then if you don't have it. Uh, just go if you don't have example set do you won't get this uh, little window that I'm getting so just go ahead and then install it so after it has installed uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to open or what but then if it doesn't open uh, come here and search for xm Control. So you are gonna see an XM control panel and then click on it. So the reason why on my laptop is not showing is because of I have set I've already set XM in a way that uh, it's just starting by default, so it's not even showing here. And again, if you don't have it, uh, you can just go to your C drive and then where you have installed the XM 
you go in the folder, scroll down, open, and then just scroll down, and then you're gonna see this. So what I was searching is this thing, XM control. So I will click on it to open it. So mine, as you can see, the, it has already, or it hasn't started, but then, uh, uh, let's let's configure it first. Uh, click on config, and then click on Apache and MySQL, so that every time you switch on your computer, they will start by default. Right, and then click save. So now every time you switch on your computer, uh, XM will automatically start. Right, uh, if it doesn't start, uh, I'll show you another way. So, right now, we can start these two things. Let me forget this. Uh, click yes, and then let's start uh, my SQL again, and then uh, click yes. So, now they have started. So, you can click on this admin. And then your browser will open and then if you get this window then you have successfully installed your xm right so yeah you can now you just know that uh, xm has been successfully installed on your computer and then uh, if you click on this php my admin uh, you will get uh, your my sql uh, control interface so this is where you will be you will be able to create your databases and then if you click here on databases so these are the databases that i have on my computer All right so these are the databases that i have so if uh, you're still new you're probably gonna find uh, only this one because it's by default this one and this one and this one yeah so these are default databases i'm sure it's what you're gonna find yeah so now we are good to go so thank you guys for watching and then we'll meet again uh, when we start uh, doing the programming and then doing creating our own databases so thank you